Previously on Imperion Galactic Survival. Alright, we are coming down on Akua. Void mining towers. Ooh, ooh. That could be something I could actually turn into a temporary base. I mean, and this is like an optimal spot, really, because it's right next to the water. I could put like a little little staircase or something down to here to the water to put the uh, oxygen generators. I mean, I could have two towers here, and then I could, like, link them across these ways and have it so that they're... And I'm going to put down this. We're going to set up a little camp area right over here. Okay, let's uh, put this down right there. For the base itself, I think I'm going to hold off on learning things. I'm just going to start with the solar solar capacitors and uh, solar panels. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling off the lower portion of these. I know I'm not going to get anything back, but I feel that pulling these off so that I can add the floor is going to be a major necessity okay so now we've got the floor in this area i'm thinking thinking i'm gonna want this to be too tall okay go ahead and start replacing all this um i'm gonna ha probably have the other tower be my power tower uh which has all my like my engineering tower i suppose with all my uh, constructor and all that. Can I do doors? No, we're gonna need more copper. Let's go out and look for some copper. <laughs>which should be good enough for now anyway and uh i'm gonna go ahead i'm going to do four of those one of those and ten of these and we're gonna see how well that does um and let's go ahead and I know I'm going to need to seal off these. I'm going to seal off the ceilings here with this, like so. All right, so that the doorway will be in here. Um, I was wanting to go ahead and connect these across here with sort of uh, wooden ramp type things so I'm gonna go ahead I might even just go ahead and connect this entire thing out here with like a porch of sorts but let's go ahead take this off and let's get that just turn that into the squares and pull that across here so now we can walk across from one tower to the other right here I'm probably gonna end up taking out this entire interior middle part here and turning that into like a porch of sorts I don't know um, and I may do the same thing over with this side I think it'd be like here or something but we've got this that goes all the way across to here and now what it would be is I would take 
this window out and go straight across from here. So it would go straight across to this here. Okay, and then that would go straight across into here. And there. I don't know why when these get really damaged, they actually heal. It's weird. Like, not hit point wise, but like the cracked damage wise so it's weird and I'll probably what I might end up doing is making it so that this here uh, these rooms only have exits out this direction and maybe like out the sides and the front like the front the back and the sides but that the interior actually has stairs that go up inside here or something I don't know exactly but now we've got these. Let me go ahead and place that there. Stabilize that. Uh, I'll probably end up... I don't know what I'll end up doing with the sides here. I'll probably end up sealing them up or something. But uh, let's go ahead and now... I can grab, okay, I could only make three of those. That's fine. Can I make more now? One more. Okay. So these I'm going to utilize, yeah, I'm just going to use, utilize the standard doors here. Like so. All right, and now I am in a completely sealed room. And so this direction is where we're going to want to put our engineering room in here. So this is where we're going to end up putting the core and the, uh, the battery uh what do you call them the power capacitors the solar capacitors uh we're also going to probably end up putting the uh generators and fuel tanks in here uh once we get to the point where we may or may not need them uh we are sort of at the equator so we should be okay with power but i'm thinking what we're going to want to do. We're going to definitely turn this whole thing into a floor eventually. Um, right now, I'm going to want to put the core down here and then the solar capacitor on top of it. And then we'll have the capacitor go up into this like as we add more and more capacitors. Is there a limit to the capacitors you can have? I don't think so. So that's something we're going to have to deal with once we get the core in. Let's go ahead and add the four uh, solar panels that we've created. All right, so that's four. And I want these to be the horizontal ones. And so what I want to do with the, uh, let's see here. This tower is mostly destroyed, so it's just going to be my habitation tower. And I'm probably going to tear down most of the side towers and such. And then this tower, which is largely intact, I'm going to seal up the sides and everything and uh, turn it into the engineering tower. So what I'm probably going to end up wanting to do is have this top level here 
the sort of the top of it and I'll tear down everything from up there. So let's go ahead. I'm thinking if I take this and this And then I'm going to need to take this all right so now that can fit right there I'm gonna have to do the same over here Because of shadows at the moment, these four might not give me the best uh, might not give me the best uh, solar power. But as I said, I'm going to be removing almost everything above it. So like all that that's you know putting shadow on it will be removed. All right, so now we've got our solar panels in place, at least our current temporary ones in place. And most, two of them are getting full sunlight right now. The other two are getting partial sunlight, but I'll end up taking all these towers on the top down once I get, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, once I get the... Uh, Or the stuff in place once I get the uh, multi tool multi yeah multi tool uh, go ahead I'm gonna fill in this go ahead and remove all that other stuff too um, but all right let's go ahead hold on before I get these down because like I said I don't know if I'm gonna have base attacks or not before I get those down let's see can I go ahead and learn all constructor what the heck let's go ahead and do generator and fuel tank I won't use them yet but I also am gonna want cargo boxes and a food processor. If I learn the sentry guns, I'm going to need to learn the container controller and, or the ammo box here. So I'll wait for that for the next one. Okay, I cannot yet make a small constructor. I believe what I am missing with that is silicone so i'm gonna head out and try to find some silicone okay there and i'm gonna head out try to find some silicone and uh see if we can get a small constructor built while we are uh trying to do all this other stuff well, I haven't found much silicone. In fact, I haven't found any silicone yet. And I've come all the way over this way. Um, there is a Prometheum deposit, which is a great find, but it is it appears to be protected by a rocket drone. So I'm not gonna get anywhere near that. I'm heading over towards this mountain here because uh, quite often the mountain areas have more silicon in them than other biomes. So let's, whoa, lost my motorbike again. Okay, um, motorbike is somewhere 
over here, right about here. There you are. At least it's not in the uh, in the seaweed this time. Um, I lost it a little bit ago, and I actually had to put a waypoint on it to find it. So, um, but heading over here, uh, there's another Promethium deposit. Ooh, nice. That's two Promethium deposits. I'm wondering if it doesn't appear that they're in radiated biomes. It looks like they're just regular mountain ones. And I don't know if Akua has radiated biomes or not because it is a, uh, it, it's not one of the random planets. It's a standard, ooh, there we go. Is that, please be silicone? Yay, silicone. Um, it's actually getting dark right here, and I'm hoping that's four silicone. I need at least one more silicone. I'm getting hungry, and I'm actually running out of food um, because my, uh, whatchamacallum, spoiled. There are a couple of berries. I'm going to go ahead and make some berry juice out of that. Ooh, there's a hongo. Um... I may or may not want to check out that Hongo. I do think I want to go ahead and head over there and uh, see, because there could be silicon on the way, but actually up at the top of a hill. Interesting. That's actually not a bad location for a base. Um, it's up on a hill. It's you know, got a uh, height advantage, which means that in the event of attacks, it would uh, be a decent spot. I may have this as a secondary base. I'm, I'm thinking I want to keep my current base but I may actually come out here and salvage some of this stuff uh, because it's already got a player core that's set to public. I'm thinking I may just end up turning it uh, private and then just salvaging some of this stuff with a uh, multi tool. If I can get in here. Yeah. Not bad. Um, cause I could salvage this, which would be nice that I could salvage into a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, full thing. That would be nice to put on a capital vessel. It's already got some sensors and such. Yeah, this, this would be a great thing to salvage. Um, I'm thinking, however, right now, ooh, there's Polaris territory. Right now, I want to try to head back over to my home base, which is way out there. But I'm going to keep an eye out for some silicon on the way back. I'll be going through the forest areas. Um, ah, they still haven't fixed that. But uh, in any case, I'm going to head back to the home and we'll see what silicon we can get. All right, I'm back over at the home towers. And I've actually gotten a little bit of silicon. I found several... Uh, more little deposits on the way home, which is nice. So I should be able to pop all this in here. Go ahead and make one of those. Let's go ahead. If I can just go ahead and pop those in there and then that, and then let's go ahead and make some stakes. I'm going to go ahead sleep hopefully the stakes are still here oh because of the weight of course that I can uh, utilize and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this Let's see I want to put at least one of these in here 
let's actually just go ahead and put it down here where we can utilize it in the time being like that and uh let's see once i get my core down i can remote connect to this so let's go ahead put that and that down start getting some power generation going and then if i do this connect and then i can put these down here like so it's f4 and uh, t toggles this back on f4 will get you this and then t will toggle that like i said uh let's go ahead salvage these and these in the middle All right, I can put this here and there. All right, let's go ahead and get all the angles back down. That, that I'll eventually fix. But let's go ahead. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two of these be generators and the other two be fuel tanks i think i'm going to put the generators here and here but the fuel tanks there and here and so we've got the generator and we're going to need to make up some biofuel to get the fuel tank running in the meantime we should have power yay so let's see what can i go ahead and make can i make some lights i just want some lights i cannot make some lights why can i not make lights in this that's weird um do i have to learn lights now that 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 seems like it would be a little uh little less than ideal if you had to learn basic lights no you can you can do basic lights you just can't hold on that say you cannot make them uh light blue and red you can't even make you can't even make them in a port hmm. okay so basically i'm not going to be able to do lights for a while unless i go steal them so let's go ahead i'm going to bring the the uh constructor over here um, I think I'm going to have the constructor area be like back here. So what I want to do, let's go ahead. Take this. And this. Okay, and then we're going to put this there and then i'm gonna get a i think i'm just gonna replace these now i need to get another cargo box let's do two cargo boxes and that should be all we need for our current uh, thing and then I'm gonna go ahead and get this making up biofuel can I can this even make it can um, it won't end up making 50 it'll end up making like seven but all right let's go ahead I'm gonna come back this way over to here what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this 
we're gonna get a large container and put it here. This is going to be the input for this. And right now it's gonna be the input output. Um, eventually it's actually going to be just the output and I'm probably gonna put like a large container with a uh, container controller and extensions and all that in there for the input and then I'll just have this be the output but right now it's going to be both the input and output so let me connect to that like I had the other one and let me go ahead and get everything but the wood from here and I'm going to leave this creating biofuel we're gonna head over here and we're gonna put all this stuff in here like so now we can utilize this to create things just slightly faster we can't really create more stuff than the other one, but we can actually create uh, the only thing that this that I know of can create that the other one has problems with is that. And we need to be level five to get the large constructor because uh, you can't make that in a portable constructor. So, uh, And the ammo box, of course, it seems you can't make in a portable constructor either. And that. So a lot of the stuff... I'm going to need a large constructor for so that's going to be my next goal but we're going to have to save that for next time so that's going to be it for this episode I hope everybody enjoyed the episode if you did hit the like button for me and if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival go ahead and subscribe I'm Know It All DM and as always Y'all have a good day now. <laughs>